Greetings and salutations, fellow Earthlings. That's right. Elton McFall here, aka Retro Old School. Just got out of Ben's car there and figured uh, we'll uh, start doing one a walking video because I haven't done one in a while and they are popular and uh, yada yada yada. Here in the Westmount sector next to downtown on. Oh, I thought we were on Demesnev and uh, Kitchener. Yeah. Some beautiful old buildings around here. Uh, not too bad today. It's minus three, about minus two, but a little bit of wind still. Not horrible. Never heard anybody say that before. Well, no, because you walk on the west side, you pick up more crap on the back of your freaking hands. They get it. Oh, yeah, for sure. I get a better view of this fantastic church here. Very nice. I remember seeing Go to Lexus Neon, get a calf, take a squirt. I don't have a lot of time actually. I still thought about taking the bus, but I'm like, ah, no. freaking. Yeah, maybe if we're still in the time of classics, but that's never come back, so. It's been, what, 10 years now, maybe? Julian's got a bit me a bit bit curious about maybe make, making uh, making me want to go take one of those new flyers for a ride, honestly. Move it along there. Stop texting with your freaking Jaguar there. Okay. Welcome to Westmount, where you see luxury cars, and they're almost all the almost all the cars around here are colorless. Colorless. Oh, yeah. But I'm sorry to say, guys, unfortunately, Westmount, for for an automotive type of guy like me, unfortunately, when I lived in this near this area 20 years ago, I used to see old cars all over the place, Cadillacs and Chevys and whatever, and there's none. It's like, it's like they disappeared. People, they just left. They went and moved away from the city because it's just, unfortunately, it's a bunch of bullshit down here when it comes to old cars. It's like it's not a good place for that. They can't parking. There's people that are nuts and that. Uh, there's all kinds of reasons, you know. Look at these beautiful old homes here. Just lovely. Lovely? Yes. Fancy. Ben's got his uh, very fancy camera. Wants to snap a few pictures. Understandably, it's gorgeous. Winter has been shit. Hard as hell and harder than ever because of COVID. Didn't help. Things are looking up. Number of new cases reported daily are dropping. Vaccinations are... Wrapping up. Uh, yeah, ramping up and uh, uh, getting more uh, elaborated, I guess you could say. And, uh, the days of this pandemic are numbered. I would hope so, but I'm a skeptic. I think like a lot of people, we, we hope for the best, but unfortunately, as scientists believe, uh, it looks like it's going to be around for a long time. So, You know what I mean? Unfortunately. Sorry guys, I had to take my glove off to adjust my, my shirt. So, uh, yeah, we're walking easterly now towards downtown. Not be, not, might not be very much of a video, but... Oh, look at all the garages there, eh? Well, you can't imagine what might be down there in there, eh? What, do you see something I don't see? The way the light and the shadow hits Let's see what street this is here. A lot of people out here walking. It's it's nice. It's surprising. We are at the Maisonneuve and Olivier. It's almost surprising to see French names around here, actually. There's Ben doing his thing there. Filming the photographer. <laughs> doing his funky thing. <laughs> the guy's laughing. <laughs> Uh, let's continue on the Maisonneuve, eh? Or do you want to go on St. Catherine? The Maisonneuve. <laughs> I had a hard time telling from afar what that truck was, because it's new, and I see now that it's a Chevy, I think. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a Chevy. It's a Chevy, eh? Silverado. It is a Silverado. Fuck, it looks weird a bit. Oh, was, crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. I was like, what the hell is this thing? 
I don't know. Uh, again, you know me, when it comes to new cars and trucks, I'm just like, there's so many things you see, like, oh, you know, some of them are cool, and some of them are like, oh, yo, like, like that. I don't know what to make of that, you know? See, look at this beautiful old building here. Look at that oval window. That's lovely. All the windows were changed. Nice Christmas decorations still there. Oh my god, there must be a beautiful vintage elevator probably in here. Maybe not. Only three floors. Maybe not. This building here, look at this, looks like a bank. Or was a bank or a library. What are we coming up to here? I think it's uh, Green Avenue, I think we're coming up to. I didn't think we actually drove this far. Remember the last time I was here actually on the corner of Sherbrooke and Green? I got off the bus because I saw Rolls Royce, a vintage Rolls Royce uh, Silver Spirit. Then I think I. Yeah. This navigator. Pig on wheels. There's. And you can see part of Mont Royale over there. Look at this building. Oh, yeah, this had to have been a bank. Well, there's a bank in Montreal here. I gotta come back to the street one day, see if I can get into and see some elevators there. Look at this. Hey, boy, you know your area that's got money. Bank of Montreal, TD. So this one here is probably is a bank as well. Mayor was was probably like CIBC or National Bank or something. Hey? Eh? Oh, the old post office. Okay. I can dig it. Yeah. He made a face, man. He made my day. He's just he went, nah. Oh no, he was laughing actually. Yeah, he was laughing. But look, look, look he's gonna. <laughs> Looking right at the camera, I'm like, that's a cool picture. Oh, you got it? Nice. Yeah, dead center in the shot. I was like, Sweet. Nice. Oh, he's a he's another me then. He's that's, a character. That's a candid, that's a candid shot if I've ever seen one. Yeah. I'm down for it. It's actually funny to make this video because like I said, I did film a walking video on this street once, but it was going the other way. It was sunny, but it was summertime. Look at this, there's an alleyway here. Wow. There's a good decent network of alleys around here. It's funny because when you think of Westmount, you don't really think of alleyways. Ed was bringing that up to me yesterday because he, he lived in it in Westmount. He's from here. Oh yeah, oh jeez. That's not pleasant. I thought of yesterday, I was taking a walk yesterday with a friend there, and there was a restaurant, uh, Camda. I know. Damn, who was it that was mentioned, that was asking me to give them a mention in one of my videos? God, who was it? Was it David? Was it my friend David? No, I think, was it Andre? Well, we're walking around uh, Westmount Square here which is a shopping plaza, and as you can see, these towers are for business. Yeah. Very 1960s. Look at those. Oh, I wouldn't mind sitting there. Oof. Look at that. Ooh. And you can see over there, guys, that they're still building condo towers there. A lot of them. Where's the next Toronto or the next Vancouver here? Damn it! Why is it? I can't remember who it was that wanted me to give them a shout out. One of my videos walking. It wasn't my friend Dave, was it? It couldn't have been. I've mentioned him before. Couldn't be my friend Andre. I mentioned him as well. <sighs> Not Ed. Damn it! I don't know who it is. I think the thing that, that strikes me the most about this place is, look, everything is marble. The walls everything, are marble. Yeah. The floor is marble. It's like, holy shit. You know how expensive that must have been? Westbound. Anything's possible. <laughs> Elevators were all redone, though. It's not... Uh, but they still have the original Otis's, though. Otis escalators. You know? No escalators in this building, though. It's in the... Down to uh, Westbound Square shopping. Well, that's it. I want to go in there now because uh, I want to go get a coffee and I got to take a squirt, so. Oh yeah, that's an interesting view, eh? Here's a view here of Rue Saint-Catherine, the main drag, which goes all the way to where I live in Hochelaga. 
Uh, pretty neat. Yeah, right on.